What's up guys, what's going on? Welcome back to my channel and you're checking out the Sorcerer DPS Rotations uh, stat priorities and uh, spec guide for PvE content. Uh, so the spec for Sorcerers, uh, the best spec to use would be the hybrid madness spec uh, involved with lightning. Um, some people have different um, specs on this. Uh, some people use less points into corruption and lightning and get the focal lightning here in madness. The thing with that is, the only reason I don't like it is because basically, in my opinion, you're wasting the two points on devour right here. And in my opinion, focal lightning is only good if you can keep that four, the four stacks of that proc going at all times. And pretty much in every fight, you're going to have some kind of mechanic where you got to move or just so you're not going to get lucky on a crit or anything, and you're going to lose that four stacks, um, which in the end is really going to uh, downgrade you on getting that back. You're Honestly, you're way better off just um, going into the 3% three, three crit into... Um, sleeping darkness and getting the two percent alacrity um, and the one special point that I really enjoy now is one point into lightning infusion uh, with this you're basically gonna have no force problems whatsoever now which means you can definitely use a uh, force storm a lot more without having to worry about your force uh, you can all feel now a lot more without worrying about your force and you can also change up your rotation and throw shock in there now to get some more quick burst DPS which um, does increase your DPS but the only reason you don't use it in 1.7 is because uh, it's going to destroy your force so uh, now you can use it without worry and it is a main ability in my rotation so as you can see here what I spec into um, pretty much you're going to kind of have to copy it exactly how I do the only points that you can really play around with it right here are uh, these two points Sith whatever uh, for gearing wise um, now that force can be negated or however you want to put it um, you're going to want some accuracy so 104% force accuracy is more than enough uh, so get your 104% and you are good. Um, for crit, you're going to want no crit whatsoever um, until they change the DRs. And like I said in some of my other videos, I will do updated videos if they change PTS. Um, however so. Uh, pretty much for alacrity, um, what I think is a good amount is a 300 alacrity rating, which I do not have on my uh, sorcerer right now. Um, anywhere between pretty much 3 to 350. I don't have exact numbers because I haven't played around with my sorcerer too much right now, but pretty much you want to get 6%. Uh, 6% I believe is a good solid number uh, for you to run. Uh, so let's get into the rotation here. Uh, for my rotation, what I do is Affliction, and then I do my Clicky Dread Guard Relic, then I follow it by with Recklessness and Polarity Shift. Uh, then I follow by two Force Lightnings, and then I do Death Field, Crushing Darkness, and then I quickly go back into Force Lightning. You'll see why um, I don't apply Affliction is because you're basically going to have just enough time to get uh, one last force lightning in before polarity ship uh, wears off. The reason I do two force lightnings with recklessness and not one force lightning and one death field is because you will see on some bosses um, that death field will actually do less damage than force lightning would and you get more damage out of it uh, with you get more damage out of force lightning than you would with death field now that doesn't occur with all the bosses but it does occur with a majority of them so instead of me going and finding which ones actually do and don't I just always use recklessness on both 
um, bulk force lightnings. Um, while you're doing that, you gotta make sure you do not cut off your force lightning. Uh, it's just a lot of waste of DPS. So, after your um, your two force lightnings, your death field, and your crushing darkness, it's force lightning, and then um, I reapply affliction, and then uh, it's force lightning, force lightning until death field and crushing darkness come off cooldown, and then, then you go ahead and apply um, death field, crushing darkness, and affliction over again. And that's pretty much it. That's your rotation. Um, for shock now, the only time I use shock is if when I'm on the move and I need burst DPS. Um, and every time I use it after lightning barrage. Um, that lightning barrage is going to increase your uh, channeled speed on your uh, force lightning by half. So you're, it's going to tick twice as fast. So anytime after uh, force lightning is when I do shock. Uh, also too, I'll throw a shock in if I'm about a second to a half a second away of death field coming off its cooldown and I have my top proc up uh, just so I don't have to go into three seconds of force lightning when I can just get a quick shock out and go ahead and apply my dots. Uh, that's pretty much it. Just always make sure you use polarity shift and recklessness when it's off its cooldown. Um, Make sure you always use your drag guard relic. The um, from the start when I use my aggro dump is right after my first crushing darkness. So after my first crushing darkness, I'm sorry, not crushing darkness, death field. After my first death field is when I do my cloud mine, my aggro dump. After that, I just do it uh, every time it's off cooldown or when I feel like I have done uh, a good amount of threat. Uh, that's pretty much it. Enjoy the rotation here. Uh, like, subscribe, comment, and please check out my other DPS guides. Peace out, guys.